Hey, what's going on, folks? Just a quick video. Um, there's red cherry shrimp. And I was really curious, um, just a thought, but I I, uh, I really think that shrimp, and there's there's actually one in the back there, and then there's another one right on the edge of that leaf right there. It's on the gravel, but past the edge of the leaf. There's some Amanos in here as well. Uh, matter of fact, there's one. Well, that's not an Amano, I don't think. Uh, there are some Amanos in the back. They're really kind of shy. I turned the lights on last night, and they all kind of hid. But really quick, uh, and I'm curious what some of you guys think about this, but I'm almost of the mindset that I think that shrimp are to the planted tank what bees are to an orchard. And I know that sounds crazy, uh, but this is just me. But I really think that... Uh, they help populate and spread uh, microorganisms in your substrate and in your tank and, and, and help turn a sterile tank into something that has a lot of uh, living bacteria. Curious what you guys think about that. I know that's out there. Uh, I'm not a PhD in biology. I just, um, you know, this tank's just really kind of balanced out. When I added shrimp, changed the lights. Um, so, I don't know. There is one final note I just wanted to show you guys, and I'm still trying to figure this out. But if you look, I've still got a film here. And, if, and give you guys an idea. See how it's kind of... See how it breaks? See how, see how it's bre breaking up now? There's a fine thin... Uh, or a fine film fine film <laughs> on the water there and I'm not really sure what that is and uh, I don't like seeing that I don't like seeing a bubble like that because that's usually a sign of water being really soft or something going on but you can kind of see and just to give you guys uh, and, and I baseline it off of a tank that's stable and by that I mean here's here's my 120 and this water is as smooth as glass and by, and by that I mean, let me see if I can't get, if I break it. See, there's no, there's no film here. You can see it's just, it's very clear. Uh, as a matter of fact, I mean, there's a good, you can see right through it to the plants. Uh, here, here there's a film. And I, and I hope, I hope it's showing up better on the video. But anyway. I'm just curious if anybody knows what that is. Uh, there's two things about this tank that are different. Two of the key variables, I think. One is I've got Eco Complete in here, uh, and it is a new tank. Uh, it was set up in December. Uh, this tank was set up in June, so it's had time to stabilize. The other thing, and I don't, I don't, I just don't know about it, about it, is I used this to uh, quickly cycle the tank, and I'm wondering if this doesn't have something to do with it. And this is. Uh, I wonder if I'm not saying something there. But anyway, uh, curious if anybody knows what's going on. Uh, and feel free to post. Thanks for, uh, appreciate everybody's comments. And uh, you guys let me know. Let me know. There's a lot of smart guys out there and uh, and girls. And I appreciate what everybody, uh, everybody helps me out. But I, I'm not sure what's going on here. So uh, it definitely looks good. The plants look good. I'm not crazy about this film. Uh and I'm not sure where it's coming from, so I'm just trying to figure it out. And, and maybe I've got something coming from this piece of driftwood, and it's, you know, I didn't boil it in water. Some people talk about boiling it in water, make sure it's cured. I got it from the pet store as driftwood, so I thought it was already prepared. It wasn't something that I just, you know, found in the woods kind of thing. But anyway, but here's this, and here's this, and I'm probably going to cut some of these runners on the dwarf baby tier and, uh, and sell it. To the or take it to the local fish store for credit. But anyway, hey, thanks guys for watching, and uh, everybody have a good day. See you.